Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is the 19th video in my Python programming series, and today we're going to be talking about a fairly complex topic some people find kind of confusing in their programs. Um, it's very useful to understand, and it's global versus local variables. So global um, pretty much means everywhere, can be used in anything, and local means specific to a certain uh, block of code or to a certain class. So let's just dive in right away with an example. So in our program, we have things called variables. Again, we've talked about them before. So I'm just going to say var up here equals 9. We'll say our um, true, this is lowercase here, uh, is just equal to true. Or actually, let's call it loop instead, just not to confuse anyone. So loop is equal to true. And then maybe let's make a function. We're just going to call this function func. We'll give it a parameter of x. And we're just going to say if x is equal to oops, 2 equals sign 5, then return true. And we'll set a variable up at the top of this function. And we'll just call it uh, new var is equal to 7. Or, yeah, 7. Let's, let's do that. And then instead of returning true, we'll actually return new var. My bad. New var, just like that. Okay. So here we have three variables. We have the variable var, which is equal to 9, the variable loop, which is equal to true, and then the variable new var, which is inside of our function, and that's equal to 7. Uh, and then the parameter x, which again can kind of be considered a variable, but it is uh, more specifically a parameter. So I just want to show you right away what tries to happen if I print out the variable new var. So outside of my function in its own line, I'm just going to say print new var like that. We click F5 and we get an error here. It says the name new var is not defined. But how can that be possible? We just made new var right here in our function. Well, this is where we get into local versus global variables. So the variable new var is actually known to be a local variable to the function uh, func. So that means the only thing that's able to access the variable, change the variable, and use the variable new var is the function func. So again, if I put the print statement inside of my function and then I call my function, it will work. So here, if I type func now and I'll give it value of 2, then new var does print to the screen and we don't get an error. So that is how uh, the local variable works. So again, it's the same thing in any other type of function. So if I write another function, I do define other func. This one, I won't give it a parameter, and I'll just say new var is equal to 5, like that, so different than 7. And then this function will print new var. Well, do we think it's going to print out 7, or do we think it's going to print out 5? So we'll show you like this if we run uh, take zero positional arguments other func oh my bad there's a two in there sorry it prints out five right so it doesn't look at this variable here it looks at the local variable in here called new var now same thing if I put new var up here outside of all of these functions and I set it equal to 23 and then I click F5 here to run it's still going to print out 5. That's because these functions, they can see these variables up here, but if there's a variable already declared inside of their function, they're going to use that one instead. I know it's kind of confusing. I'm going to talk a little bit more about how this works. I just wanted to give some examples to start off. Okay, so now we'll talk about global variables. So local variables are ones that are declared usually inside of a function. So that means outside of the function. So again, if we tried to print new var out here, um, and I got rid of this up here, we get the error like we got before, right? It says it's not defined. So what about global variables? Well, these global variables are ones that anything in the program can see. So var and loop would be known as global variables. In here, if I try to print out our variable var, and then I'll just call that function by doing func, and I'll give it a value of 2 once again, it will be able to see var, and it does print it to the screen as 9. 
That is because this is global. It's not defined inside of a function or inside of a class. And classes we'll talk about later. Don't worry about that. Um, same thing if we try to print out loop. So if I change this to loop, again, it should work. We get true printed out to the screen just like that. So now there's the issue with changing variables inside of a function. So typically you want to avoid this. You don't want to be dependent on these global variables up here to make your functions work. This is because if you remember in my other video, I talked about modular programming where we can reuse functions. Well, if I have a variable defined up here and my function is referencing that variable, meaning it requires that variable to work, then if I try to use this function in another one of my programs, it's not going to function properly because that loop variable or that global variable that I try to use is not going to be uh, defined in that other program, right? So let's do an example here of how we can actually change a global variable. So if I go here and I say loop is equal to seven, so I call my function and it's going to set loop equal to seven. And, um, and then I try to print out the variable loop. Well, what do you think is going to print to the screen? Give me a guess. It's either going to be seven or it's either going to be true. Um, what do you think, right? So I'm printing it underneath after I call this function. Let's see. We get true. Now, even though we, what looks like changed the variable in this function, instead of actually changing this global variable, instead we created a new variable, which is local to the function called loop. If we want to change this variable, we have to use something called the global keyword. So in Python, what we have to do is at the top of our function, we just type the word global, followed by the variable name that we want to change. So in this case, I'm going to say loop. Now, if we run this program, we print out seven. That's because this tells our function that we're going to look outside of the function here for the variable. If it exists, then we're going to change it just like we did there. So I know this has been kind of confusing. I've kind of jumped around. Try to play around with these things and see uh, if you're getting errors. See if you can figure out what's going to print to the screen here. If you want to change a global variable, so one that you define at the top of your program here or outside of your functions, then you must type the global keyword inside of your function followed by the name here. Again, if I try to change the, uh, the variable down here, so not inside of a function, it will work. So if I do loop is equal to false, then, uh, oh, we get seven again just because I called it up here. So I won't call this function this time. If I say loop is equal to false, then we will get false because it's not inside of a function. So it is able to see and change this variable. So really using the global keyword, uh, it's just inside of functions. And just remember that if you do create a variable inside of your function, it's local to your function, meaning that unless you type this global keyword first and then follow by the name of that variable, everything outside of the function will not be able to see that variable. So if you liked, if you uh, liked this video and you learned something, please like and subscribe and I will see you again in another video.